Hello guys, so if you're looking to use mid journey for a product showcase, so if that's the case, you've come to the right place because today in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that now without wasting more time. Let's begin. So first you need to come to your discord server where you have the mid journey bot. Now, as you can see, I already created a mock-up shot where you can see where I created this awesome looking image shoot. And as you can see, it's looking pretty realistic. Now, for example, this one, the second variant. So if I upscale that, you can see it is already looking so much realistic. Now, this is not exactly the final thing because in in order to create realistic looking mockups just like that, you need to have some camera and lighting and a very good mastery of Photoshop because you will need to add your own mockup that you will shoot with your own camera and then and you will use that in post process where you will remove this bottle and you will add your bottle in the post process and that will include the lighting as well. Now how to get these type of backgrounds for your product to place. So it's a very simple task. All you have to do is just simply visualize what you exactly need or just simply do what your client have told you to do. So over here in this case, the necessary part was the model or the product was a gin bottle. The detail was it was brown bottle and it was supposed to be in a forest on top of a rock and the rock should have been covered with moss. So this was the main task. And as you can see, this is the prompt as well. A brown gin bottle on a rock. Now the specification of the rock, moss on the rock in a forest, dark and moody. Now And now comes the lighting, sundry lighting from behind so this is how you are going to describe the prompt for your product now you can also add camera lenses if you know about them because you have to know it now for that let's remix it so let's add a new prompt so let me redo it and make sure to enable remix mode because it will be very helpful in the process of creating best looking version of your desired outcome now let's simply add macro lens then hit submit and now just simply wait for the result to come in. So as you can see, the result came out. Now, if you open the image, you can see they are pretty good looking. Now, the best shot that I think is the first one and the third one. Now, you can just simply upscale them by pressing U2 and U3. Now, after you upscale them, you can just simply export those images. You can even try the new remastered version over here. By clicking on that, you will get the new remastered version. Or just simply click on make variants and you can get the variants of these particular model. And you can test more variants and see which one suits your lighting and placement style now after you have got the image let's say for example this one let's open it on our browser now after you have got the image what do you have to do you have to carefully remove this particular bottle without disturbing anything you have to carefully remove it and you have to add your product and in this case it's a gin bottle so you have to add the gin bottle over here and you have to make sure that the bottle and the lighting that you took in your photographs should match this particular photograph firstly meaning you have to create this a background for your photo shoot because after you have created your background only then you can actually make your product photo shoot. Because after you have created your background, you will know what type of lighting your photo shoot needs and the direction of the lighting, the warmth of the lighting and the camera and the camera type that you are going to use in the lighting. So in this case, I've used a macro lens in this background. Now you have to also use a macro lens in your photo shoot as well. So, and thank you for watching and do like and subscribe to my channel and take care.